Stellar Blade demo is finally here, and we are going to check it out as your certified Devil May Cry in Bayonetta player. Um, I saw a little bit of this uh, the other day. I saw Devil Never Cry playing it, but I have been trying to really stay away from how the gameplay looks. Mainly just kind of watching story trailers and stuff, and um, as more trailers were coming out it looked less dmc and bayonetta e and more soulsy um but i'm going to just talk about it in that sense and even if it is more like a souls like i don't really care all that much right i'm probably still not gonna buy this anyways but it's good to be able to check this out for the time being just to kind of see if maybe it'll convince me otherwise I've seen that picture before, I think. Like, a picture's similar to that anyways, Jen. But if you want to put it in, like, the the creative portion of the Discord, you can. Also, with me staying as far away from this game as possible, I don't know anything about the story. <laughs> so it's going to be a very fun experience. I also um, don't really know how I feel about gameplay demos showing like maybe the first like hour or two of the game and then that progress just carries over to the final game i remember when video game demos used to have like a specific level or a specific section and not just like the beginning of the game that you could just transfer over to the final game you know what i mean um, Devil May Cry 5's demo was like that, and it was amazing, but I would not have enjoyed, like, playing through the first two missions of DMC 5 and then have that progress carry over. I'm very glad that, and obviously DMC is a different case, but they actually had a dedicated mission to do that, you know? Best demos y'all have played? Final... Titan... I can't even say the Final Fantasy 16 demo because, like, it's just the the opening of the game but it convinced me to buy the game so it worked um but personally my three favorite demos of all time have to be soul caliber 2 beautiful joe and dmc5 i played that dmc5 demo so much i uh borrowed my sister's xbox <laughs> just so I could play the Xbox demo <laughs> over and over and over again. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Hatch. Come on. Come on. Oh look, X seeds in the game. Did I just fail a QTE right out of the gate? I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I think I failed. I failed the QTE and the game was just like, you know what? Fuck this. You know what? What happens if I don't? <laughs> oh, there's the fan service right there. That's the undersuit and here's the actual suit. Yeah. Damn, they're really trying to appeal to a certain audience, aren't they? Hachi, you got some nice spot. Damn, goddamn. What's up, Goku? This way to the bondage. Uh. You take the left. I'll take okay. The side. So, quick attack. Strong attack. Oh my god, it's like Bayonetta. It's crazy. Okay, and then... Okay, so... So the guard slash parry button is on L1, and I immediately hate it, and I already know I can't change my controls. So, you guys are just gonna hear me bitching about having guard on L1 for about an hour. Oh, I love how the screen's blacking because it wants me to go this way. I'm a rebel. If y'all had seen my Spider-Man 2 playthrough, you know that I don't like it when games tell me what to do. 
<laughs> and I like breaking the game a little bit like that just to kind of see what happens. Hence me just being like, you know what? I'm not going to grab your arm. What are you going to do? Fail me? No, it just... That was unnecessary. Um... Suicide Squad downright kills me. Oh, for sure. Jesus. These enemy designs look really cool, though. You're going to introduce the... There we go. Uh, where? There we go. Hi. Gotcha. Alright, hold L1 and use beta skill. Beta energy is charged during parries. Okay. Imagine if you die, you don't follow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Are you <all> right? <laughs> yeah, this looks like a PS5 exclusive. None of that Spider-Man BS. Take this. It's first aid. Thank you. Okay, press to use potions. There's more of them. But I hold to select the potion. Okay, hold to rush. Oh, thank you for that motion blur. I appreciated that. Is that a, a stagger gauge that they have on the bottom? Okay. Okay, use a beta skill. That was just a regular ass block. Um, I kind of figured that this would happen, but I appreciate that if I swing a sword at one enemy, it'll hit another enemy right next to it. Which is very sad that I have to say, thank you for doing that. <laughs> Spider-Man doesn't do that, and that drives me crazy. But yeah, there there is a, a wee bit of motion blur, and I can't remember if I, uh, if I could turn it off. It's whatever, though. Final Fantasy continues to influence with the stagger system. I just don't know if that was a stagger. Don't stop. Keep moving. Ow. The fuck, video game. That was close. This isn't Maybe I'll switch the ponytail length to short because that's a that's all pretty long photo, <laughs> long ass ponytail right there. Join them. Oh no, it's a big boy. Ah! She has a long ass ponytail, yeah. But just that that opening shot of her just My God. You, that's when you just know what what this game was made for <laughs> who they're trying to appeal to anyways but you know what no. i'm not falling for it the squad's life signs. The but yeah jesus there? she has very very long hair Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Taki. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission. She has a really cool looking blade, Understand. though. Also, I saw that there are a lot of of jiggle physics in this too and i'm just not really surprised <laughs> you know just like i said i am here just to see if the combat is good enough for me to warrant purchasing it all right So yesterday when I was watching Devil Never Cry's stream, I was so exhausted that I thought that the enemy's name said Bruce. 
<laughs> I thought it was so cute that they were uh, naming their enemies like that. But then I saw that it was actually called Brute, and I was like, oh. Ow. Beta skills ready. Let me... Yeah, especially with the way that you heal, too. This is way more of a souls like Okay. I'm gonna assume that that is an unblockable. You asshole. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can turn that motion blur off. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> yeah. You fought well, even better than during training. You still need to purchase Tekken 8. About that. I have Tekken 8 now. The damage to your body. And Mortal Kombat one. So, so the other day after I was I, after I played Street Fighter, my good friend, I'm doing it. Um put me on his uh, Steam Family Share account. I hear something. So, Eve. we can share each other's Steam library now, which is freaking awesome. So I have Tekken 8 and Mortal Kombat 1. And that was actually the reason why I pulled the trigger on upgrading my PC. The first reason was because I couldn't make the Gotham Knights right? video and I was very annoyed by that. But then the second reason was that now that like, I can do this, I was like, okay, like I actually want to play these games and stream them. So I'm just gonna pull the trigger and just upgrade my PC now. So that's exactly why I'm doing it. <laughs> no, Goku, this is totally just a Souls game. Like, especially after just getting my hands on it for the first couple of minutes, it's just, it's just like Bloodborne. It's like a Bloodborne Lies of P Souls like. It's me you want. Are you gonna be able to multi stream? Probably. Which will be very nice. Oh no, she got Raidened. Oh no, she got Dante'd. But that's okay. She'll live through that stab wound, right? Get out of here. Ducky! Right? <laughs> Stellar Blade. Could you imagine if this was the end of the demo? Just like what? 15 minutes of gameplay and then that's it. But yeah, like, you know, it's, they did such a good job of marketing with this game because it really did feel like for the longest time that this was going to be like a character action game, but it's actually a Souls-like. It's pretty crazy. Like if you look at earlier trailers compared to um, how the gameplay like is right now, it's, it's kind of nuts. Which is a bit unfortunate, too, because, like, Still, the thing that I noticed is that they didn't really show full gameplay footage, like, really, until just very recently. And that's when people kind of came to the conclusion that it was more of a Souls-like than it was, like, a Bayonetta or a Devil May Cry game. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty sad. Like, I mean, I get it, but I just wish we had more character action games rather than, like, the Soulsborne genre. Because I like the Soulsborne genre, don't get me wrong, but, like, if every no, game right. becomes a Souls-like, be the then it just, it just doesn't become as special anymore, you know? We can do Temkin after this. Unfortunately, we can't. That's why I'm upgrading my PC. 
because my PC right now can't, I don't think it can run Tekken 8, I don't think it can run Mortal Kombat 1, and I certainly can't stream it at the same time. But that's why I'm upgrading my PC, so that way I can actually play these games and stream them at the same time. Something yeah, so in a couple of weeks we'll be able to, once it's fully upgraded, yeah. But like, my current PC build would struggle to play Hi-Fi Rush and stream it at the same time. Like, I'd get drops during Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, hold the options button to view. First of all, um, where the fuck is... Would you be under display? Yeah, there you are. Get the fuck out of here with that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I should have I should have seen that immediately. Also, I have I turned on the function to just get items automatically, so we're good. So we don't need to this deal with those shenanigans. Hey, vampire, how you doing? Uh, RAR XD. There's an encrypted code in the memory stick. That's a security code. A type of entry permit. Hiya. Okay. Try entering the code. Okay, so it was... RAR... XD. What? I swear that was it. Did you change the passcode on me? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was actually... Wait, what? I can't look at it again? Where's the... RAR... Was that it? It was. Still working on my Elden Ring playthrough. That makes two of us. <laughs> I was just mentioning at the start of the stream, I need to re-download Elden Ring so I can finish it and do a ranking video on it. Okay, I want to actually... You asshole. There we go. Are there dial combos? I don't think so. Uh, do I have skills? I do have skills. Okay, so attack, onslaught. We do have dial combos. Beautiful. Okay, so it was... Nice, okay. Hello there. Camp. Camps are places where you can save your progress and get rest. You can activate bitcoins and upgrade skills. Skill settings. Here, I can learn new skills and go to different trees. Perfect dodge. Yo, I'll take a perfect dodge. Uh, dodging at the perfect moment will activate perfect dodge. Wait, triangle is a perfect dodge? No, it's circle. What am I talking about? Blink? <laughs> That's just a Final Fantasy 16 skill right there. Um, beta. Shield breaker. Oh, okay, I see. Locked, locked. Okay. And then let's rest and regain all of our health, probably. The battle music is pretty, it, it is pretty good, but is she just having a fucking midlife crisis? I just, I just wanted you to take a nap and rest. Why are you, t <laughs> why are you reliving trauma? You were supposed to be relaxing. I got a, you got a surprise? Oh boy, what's the surprise? It is an action game, not a Souls game, just really slow combat. What's wrong? I don't know, man. It it really does feel like a Souls-like, though. Uh, it's nothing. 
It really does. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. It's a Souls like, but with dial combos. And like I said, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but just like. Because I mean, like, for example, like, it's not even really just the camera angle, but it's like. Oh my gosh. Hold on. There we go. Like, obviously, it's the camera angle, you know? Um. But I think it's also, like, the inclusion of, like, some of the skills there. It's just, like, kind of like the way that it's, like, oh, it's structured in that way, you know? You Can I jump in? Do I have air combos? Well, it's Legion, so compatibility should be... Hold on. Make sure to take everything. I don't have a strong air combo, but I have a light. Is there a launcher? There's not a launcher. Check Discord general. Okay, I'll check it in a second. My boy Clive continuing to influence. <laughs> that's a surprise. Look what I found on vacation. Oh, that's rad. Is that like from an official Capcom store or something? That's totally from the official Capcom store. Dude, that Devil May Cry shirt looks so fucking cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. Hey, be careful. Jump and hang from bars. Lache. Lache. I can do that. Uh, let me... Oh no. Did someone forget to retrieve this? I'm sure there are more supply boxes. It'll help us survive. So, look carefully. But I also think that uh the two like it's it's kind of like the placement of like, you know, the the healing potions and stuff and being able to kind of like drip feed them in the way that you do. Ooh, airstrike. That's kind of also what makes me go like, yeah, souls like Enemies maintain their stance with balance. Balance is displayed with, uh, yeah, so like a stagger gauge. Groggy and use retribution to deal on massive. Do it again, bitch. Oh, no, try it again, try it again. Retribution. Huh, so, uh, I guess you can say that's kind of like a, uh, repoise? Like in a Souls game? It, it feels very Souls-like if you know what I'm- Oh, it's Black Doom. Hi. I haven't seen you since Sonic the Hedgehog. Or Shadow the Hedgehog. Come on, bitch. Hit him with the beta skill. See you later, nerd. We need another Lego character action game. We do, actually. Uh, gear stuff. And you can access gear sockets in the equipment tab by pressing the options. Equipment, gear. I'm gonna equip that. Pool, I can't equip anything else. Ooh, exterior. Skin suit. Oh, can I just select the skin suit? Shield is, dis <laughs> Shield is disabled when you put on the skin suit. Oh, Jesus. You know, if you want to play on hard mode, <laughs> I like that though. If you want to, if you want this suit, you're basically playing on hard mode. <laughs> that is, that is an, a, a bit of a nice touch though. <laughs> that two chin. The Red Grills? I should have said the Red Queen. That would have been a nice DMC reference right there. Uh, scanning on places I can hang? On places I can hang out in? What 
other cities in a similar state. I see it. This city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were not. Bro, I just realized that she's talking to someone named Adam and her name is Eve. That's a that's a that's just a wee bit funny. All right, now here's the question: Is there fall damage? Souls like. I'm just saying, Dante or Bayonetta wouldn't have taken fall damage there. Could, uh, thought I could do that. A Souls like Metal, Metal Gear style. I honestly, like, I, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep saying Souls like because it's just like, now it's just a joke. But, um, you know, the combat does feel a bit slower than I had anticipated, though. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It's just kind of like, I just feel like it hasn't really done anything that hasn't been done before, you know? Which again, isn't necessarily like a bad thing, but I, I feel like a lot of people's expectations were super high. And then once you get your hands on the game, it's like, oh, it's just kind of like more of like a Souls-like style with like the, um, you know, a video game protagonist who has a lot of fan service. Oh, hell yeah. Let me attack the drum to blow it up. Yo, chill out. Oh my God. Okay, so, hold on a second. I don't think I can parry in a, like if I hit the parry button and the enemy isn't facing directly in front of me, I don't think the parry works. Hey, buddy. Ow. All right, wait, never mind. You must dodge these attacks. You. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I tried to hit him before it. Okay, so here was the question that I actually kind of wanted answered. If my uh, skill point thing would reset if I died. It says 96%. So I don't, I don't think it resets. Okay, can I? Thank you. Oh my god. Bro, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he fucking attacked me from off screen. Fuck you. Well, at least I can, I can interrupt that with, with a block. So let me, before I fucking die again. Okay, so I can interrupt him when he's doing that. 
Gotcha. There we go. We're in the clear. Where do we go now? Also, I was afraid if I hit the drum, then I would also explode. But I guess, why would it tell me that when? Let me get this. Swing. Oh, come on. You could have swing, swing. Follow the markers and it'll lead you somewhere. Oh, there's a human up there. Oh! Why is it always me that happens to? Wait, did you just not have any? Thank you. Boa core. The memory stick still has the security code registered. It also has record of a message log. Boa core. Scan complete. Boa core. You have to cross here. You see the ladder behind me? Boa core. I'm gonna. Wait, is there a ladder right there? Ladders are for bitches. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Hello? I excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Whatever, man. I'm just gonna jump through here. Screw that. <laughs> the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plank. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. Using... Oh, man. We're going into band at a levels of platforming, I think. Can I, uh... I can get over this, obviously, right? What the fuck do you mean? I, can I not just climb over that? I, this isn't me being nitpicky. It's just kind of like... Okay. It... It, it feels just a little like, um... Okay, hang on, I'm confused now. So, can I, like, get on top of there to balance? Also, like, I know that you said use the plank, but, like, there's not a plank... Am I just being stupid? Like, what? Okay. There's the, there's yellow paint over there, so I can... Oh, I see it. There's a... Has anyone bitched about the yellow paint that's in this game yet? Because they made a pretty big conniption when fucking Final Fantasy 7 came out. And then RE2. So, like, um... I feel like I personally... Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> if I have to fucking fight these enemies again... Oh my god, thank you. Why is this so... Why is this so gimmicky? Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but like... This is kind of whack. Okay, so... 
So I obviously can't go through there. I need to jump. I love how I still took fall damage from that, whatever. Um, try using the plank when there is literally no plank in sight over there. So I need to climb all the way over here to just freaking go around and do it. Or am I, or am I supposed to knock over a plank? Is that the point? Also, how the fuck did I die? So I'm supposed to drop onto there. Yeah? Okay. Okay, okay, video game. You lost me. What? What do you want me to do? Use the floating plank? There is... Am I being... Am I being stupid right now? What's... <laughs> I am very, I'm very confused. I should just stop. The Last of Us plank? Is there, but there's no fucking plank over there. Okay, where exactly is that leading to? Is that... Object, object. Yeah, there are planks down there. There's no way to climb up there. Uh, so I'm thinking that it totally just wants me to... Yeah, y you know? But also like, why do I need to use the fucking plank? Do I need to just push the plank over there? <laughs> okay, then what the fuck is... What the fuck is that elaborate booby trap there for? <laughs> what the hell is that even there for then? Is that, to is that supposed to just help me get down? I... whatever. <laughs> skill settings? Do I even have skills to... I do. Okay, uh, perfect parry. Wait, what is this? Make it, makes it easier to use perfect parry, not an FSP. Whatever. I'll just get that one, I guess. I just realized that this was where I was supposed to go, huh? We have to go through this building. Try putting the fusion cell you have here. No, I'm gonna beat this guy up instead because I want to feel something. You had a three. Oh. Ow. Ow. Okay, so when I dodge, or when I try to... Hold on. I'm just trying to fuck around and just... There we go. I think I'm trying to, like, dodge to the left and dodge to the right when I really just need to press just regular circle. Which is kind of whatever. But yeah, you were totally right. It is just a Last of Us plank. Like I said, I know you want me to go that way, and that's cool, but I'm going over here because I don't want to listen to you. Stinger! <laughs> Bitch, I dodged that! <laughs> Good 
Gonna lurky lurk already, pirate. So... I fucking knew you were behind there and I still got hit by you. So, here's the other thing, okay? When I also say that this feels like a Souls-like, it also, it's also like the rhythm. You know what I mean? It, it's less about like the, like the difficulty or the, um, you know, the bonfire-isms. Oh my God, it I was bore. <laughs> O-R, was it? Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what it, what it was. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Hi Phoenix, how's it going? Did you did you accidentally unfollow? <laughs> I have no idea, dude. That's so weird. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Phoenix. Oh my god, what the fuck was it? I love how okay. It gives me the hint, anyways. That's actually kind of funny. That it just does that. The hint- here's a hint. Here's the answer. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I did just totally forget it, so it is what it is, but I just- I think that's just a, a wee bit funny that it does that. <laughs> Not that it matters, though. But yeah, that, that's- yeah, I don't know. Twitch do be twitching sometimes, huh? How are you doing, Phoenix? Phoenix, have you gotten your hands on Stellar Blade yet? I, uh, I really don't know how I feel about this t this game, to be honest. Because, like, it's fine, but it's, I don't know. I just think that my, my expectations, which I knew were just kind of, oh, looks like this used to be a library. It wasn't going to be met with being like, oh, this is like a character action game. But even as like a souls like, it's just like. So it's it's disappointing to kind of see that it does follow the souls like pattern and like i said it just kind of makes all these games feel the same after a while you know but they just have like their own different things to them But anyways, I was talking about the yellow paint thing, and I'm, I'm gonna mention it again very briefly. Um, cause I've never mentioned the yellow paint thing, and I personally think that the yellow paint is, it's fine, right? But we haven't really come up with a better solution for the yellow paint problem. And the yellow paint problem, basically, if you don't know, the whole reason why it's there is because um, all of these games have such visual quality, but not enough visual clarity, right? Um, like, everything is super realistic that y you unfortunately don't really know where to go. You know? Um, and, and that makes it hard to try to determine where exactly you should be going. Also, I just want to see if I need to open that chest again. And I don't think I do. No, I don't. Definitely buy it. It's a next gen near aesthetic type of game with a property identity of Souls and God of War. Yeah. I think for me, it's just like, oh my God. I, there's already so many other games that I have to play and um, I just I personally feel like there we go I, I personally feel like this is like kind of the game that isn't really for me oh I dodged too early my, my bad Like, to me, this just kind of feels like it's another Souls-like, you know? Adam, what is Which, again, 
not that there's really anything wrong with that but um how do you synchronize the location on the map it's not enough for me to go oh my gosh i really want to play this game you know unlike something like final fantasy 16 which when i played the demo i was like oh my god this game's coming out in a week and i'm gonna be playing it right now so so that that's just kind of what it is you know so um there's a thing up there right wait what Okay, so, um... So, how do you propose I get up there? <laughs> there we go, jeez. Wouldn't let me get up there at first. I was like, what the fuck? Um... But yeah, like I said, to each their own, but, um, this feels like a game that I am not really going to get going to when it releases like this is one of those games that i'll totally play when it eventually becomes we'll a playstation plus tower. game the music is really good though i enjoy the music it's probably it th that's probably been my favorite thing so far the music is really good and it, fe it it's it sounds very nice Yeah, you're you're an actual enemy though. And I still got hit by you. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, souls like with dial combos. <laughs> really, when you when you boil it down like that. Is that, uh, yeah, that's basically it. What other gear stuff do I have that I can, that I can equip? No face decorations equipment. Resets the skill tree and refunds all SP. I have a bunch of materials. Yeah, I'll just keep collecting all those then. Uh, I obviously can't open this door. But yeah, I don't know. There's also... And again, I'm not really trying to sound nitpicky. I'm just more so telling you guys about what I'm feeling is happening. But it feels like... May your it doesn't even feel... Wasn't that a thing in Jedi Survivor? Where you had to collect a certain number of things and it would increase your HP? Which Jedi Survivor is also a Souls-like. <laughs> um, but anyways, like... Jank isn't even really the best way that I would describe it, but it feels... What's that? It's a depot. Set up by the airborne squad who came here before. I guess maybe like too loose Looks like it's been a in the traversal is probably time. more the best way to describe it because it's like because I keep Friend, falling off of ledges as an important base. because it, it feels like um maybe like there isn't like a whole lot of collision to ensure that like I don't accidentally fall off like if I try to purposely fall off it's a lot different than if um I go over to the ledge and there's like a very small like buffer us. to where I won't fall and then when I try to actually fall then I will like, like d does that kind of make sense like I'll, I'll try to um to find a better example of it but like during that one section where we had like the water and everything that's when it kind of felt the most like it because I kept falling off the edge when like I was going forward but I don't know. Like, yeah. Go back to that section. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about in the way that it moved. Um, okay. So shock grenade, SP analyzer, damages the enemy shields. I'll just get one of these. Shock grenade. I'm going to 
I'm kind of fine with that, honestly. Attack power enhancements. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's a telephone. Ooh, f fast travel. <laughs> Where's Nico's van? Ah, uh, fast travel, huh? So I can go to uh, the beginning of the game. And would you look at that? It's a little bonfire. Isn't that great? <laughs> Adam? Yeah. About yesterday. I'll stop. I'll stop Thank now. That was the last one, for real, this time. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Again, I just think it's really funny. The... It's all right. Everybody was comparing well, this to Bayonetta it. and Devil May Cry at first, and then you get your hands on it, <laughs> and it's a souls like. <laughs> I just really think that's the funniest part about it, that everybody was unintentionally misled into thinking that it was a certain type of game, and then it's not. <laughs> And it's in the the complete opposite direction of what the action is supposed to be. Oh, that's mad funny. Oh, I did forget to do something though. Um, where are you? Is it is it under gameplay? Oh my gosh, I just like that so much better. IGN. I saw that! I saw that. IGN is fucking bugging. <laughs> Y'all, they are... IGN is going on a speed run of making sure that they never get any more copies of video games to review ever again. I'm telling you right now. They are training for the fucking Olympics. First, they were talking smack about uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and they say that shit about Stellar Blade? Like, fuck what? that. Why the fuck are people giving them games and credibility? Like, that's crazy. That's not an ordinary enemy. Adam, get back. There we go. Stinger! Come on, what you gonna do now, big boy, huh? I tried to dodge that though. Oh, repoise. That was cool. There we go, we got him. Oh my god, QTE. <laughs> Alright, 
I was about to say what is going on, but no, it's, it's just the trailer. Holy shit, you actually get guns to use too with the drone? That's cool. Something serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Oh, and then of course, yeah, we got the action oh set goodness. pieces. It's full of plants and little birds. But like I said, this music is so rad. It's so good. Oh, and I love how it shows us the same boss that we just fought, but with all of the uh, extra cool stuff that you can do. It's like, oh my god, you look how you can just absolutely decimate this boss that like maybe gave you a bit of trouble. Stellar Blade. Oh, so it's coming out the 26th, huh? Okay. Okay. All right, and that's the end of the Stellar Blade demo, huh? So what do you get in the um, cosmetic bonus for a pre-order? Uh, digital is additional deluxe cosmetic items and in-game currency and skill points. So basically just... Uh, just being able to unlock some stuff early. Um, Pre-orders end on April 25th for the pre-order bonus. Makes sense. Okay. So, kind of going through my thoughts. Like, I've been saying it basically the entire time. But this really is just more like a Souls-like. Rather than, you know, the kind of like character action or action game that I'm just kind of used to playing in that sort of like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta-esque. And I mean, I've played souls like before, obviously, um, and I do enjoy them, but everything that I've kind of seen here just makes me feel like, oh, it's just another souls like, you know, which, which is a bit disappointing. But, um, you know, nothing here kind of grabbed me personally, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't, would or wouldn't like it, you know? Um, that, that's just my own kind of take on it. It felt a little gimmicky at times, um, especially when I was trying to do some of like the platforming stuff, which just, I don't really know why that was really the case. It just, it just felt kind of, kind of jank in, in that area. And I'm hoping that that's something that could get fixed in the final release, but I don't know. It just felt that way personally. Um, and as far as like combat goes, like I said, it, it feels souls like not in the, um, oh, you have a bonfire and you have the like specific camera angles and it, like that. It really felt more like in the Bloodborne, like it felt more like a Bloodborne Sekiro sort of with the parry mechanic, right? Because you would hit enemies, but you wouldn't necessarily um, get them into hit stun. They would kind of power through it and hit you back. So you had to stop attacking because you you can't um like attack and then immediately hit the parry button to, to hit a parry right you have to commit to the attack and you have to at times it's better to just parry and not attack you know and um the same thing kind of happened with your dodge you can't uh, you have to commit to the attack otherwise you just won't be able to dodge right um and that's just kind of where i feel like it feels more like the souls like in that in that sense if it has that kind of rhythm to it um and not necessarily the fact that it had a bonfire you know so it, it is what it is like i said um i was expecting a little bit more when i saw all the promotional material for it and i just kind of thought that the combat was maybe a little slow but now it just now it explains it right it, it was just it's just a souls <laughs> souls like basically with dial combos and some like extra like animations and stuff you know which i said like i said there's nothing wrong with it um i personally 
probably wouldn't get this on release date just for me i would probably pick it up at some point but like i said it's also a sony interactive entertainment game so it makes me wonder if maybe they would put this on like playstation plus or playstation playstation extra at some point i'm kind of hoping so I, I wish that they would do more with playstation extra when it comes to like these types of exclusives like this honestly feels like a game where it's like oh by the way if you have playstation extra or playstation premium or whatever then you get this day one like i wish sony did more stuff like that um like how xbox does on game pass but that's that's just me personally you know um so if you played the stellar blade demo please let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and if you're going to be picking up the game for yourself uh i see that there is a boss challenge mode so we're going to be doing that pretty much immediately afterwards um but yeah just let me know what you thought of the demo and if you're planning on picking up the game and as always if you like what you see and you want to see more from me don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to see more Thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you next time.